Hey everybody, how you all doing? Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a four little wordy, mindy, optical illusion challenge things. Feel free to join in with me when I'm doing them or do them yourself and then let me know in the comments how you got on. Um, I've seen them before in the past in like even like museums and things like that in Edinburgh. Oh, I've logged it actually. I went to the I think it was called Camera Obscura World of Optical Illusion Place and that was really good and I think a few of these things featured there but I don't really remember many of them and I've not done them in ages so I thought I would do them for a video today and see how tongue tied and messed up my mind can get. So without further ado, here is the video, enjoy. Here is the first little quiz thing. So it says the first, even though you can't see that bit, it says the first three words you see are what you want in life so you can play along with me and type down in the comments what you see so i'm looking at it i see love first on the top line scan through the next word i see is experience and the next word that i see uh, along the bottom I see intelligence so according to this little game because my eye has been drawn to these things first the first thing I want in life is love followed by experience followed by intelligence comment down below what your three things that you supposedly want in life are what else can you see anywhere let me see oh I see popularity um, that's actually all I see. I can only see four. So, oh, beauty. Mm, comment below if you can see any other words. There's all what I can see. Next one is you've got to. I've got to read this and see if I can read it. Okay. An investigation of an English university discovered that it doesn't matter which order the letters are written in a word. The only important is that the first and the last letter are... Uh, I don't know. San, stand, I'm going to say standing at the right location. The letters between the first and the last letter in a word may be... Uh, Something at random because we do not know each letter at we do not read each letter at a time. We re read the word as a whole. I'm going to read that again. An investigation of English of an English university discovered that it doesn't matter which order the letters are written in a word. The only important thing is that the first and the last letter are standing at the right location. The letters between the first and the last letter in a word may be located at random because we do not read each letter at a time, we read the word as a whole. Wow. That's smart and I don't think I did too bad at that. So like investigation starts in an I and ends in an N. So like everything else is jumbled up. That's pretty cool, I like that. How did you get on with that one? Number three. Wow. So this one says, if you can read this, you have got a strong mind. So, do you remember like back in the day, MSN and stuff trying to look cool to like write your name and things you used to like put numbers in place of letters and stuff. Right, let me see if I can read this. This message serves to prove how our minds can do amazing things. Impressive things in the beginning it was hard, but now the only but now on this line your mind is reading it automatically without even thinking about it. Be proud, only certain people I don't know what it's supposed to say at the end, but that's all it says. That's pretty cool, so I'm guessing the E is now a three. L's and I's are ones. A's are fours, S's are fives. That's kind of cool. Thumbs up if you manage to do that as well. Right, I think this is the last one. Let's have a look. Yeah. Right, this is called the colour quiz. Look at the chart and say the colour, not the word. Your right hand brain, the right hand side of your brain tries to say the colour, but your left brain was reading the word. Right. So I'm saying the colour, okay. Here we go. Oh my god, this is going to be bad. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, 
blue, green, black, red, yellow, green, blue, black, blue, red, green. God, that ain't too bad actually. Now I'm going to try and just do the opposite and I'm going to actually read the word and just see if I can do that. Yellow, blue, orange, black, red, green, purple, yellow, red, orange, green, black, blue, red, purple, green, blue, orange. Yeah, that ain't too bad. Right, just to check it wasn't a fluke, I'm going to try it again. But this time I'm going to say the colour. Okay. Green, red, or blue, yellow, blue, black, red, blue, green, black, red, yellow, green, blue, black, <laughs> blue, red, green. Oh, the more you do it, the harder it gets, actually. That is pretty tricky. Wow. So there we have it. I don't think my mind was too bad, actually. I think I did kind of okay with that. If you've got any other optical illusion type games or things that you think I could do and you would like me to see, you would like me to see, you would like to see me do on a video, leave them down below, the link or how I can get to do it and everything like that and I will have a look. Um, let me know how you got on with them. Leave your answers and responses and which one you liked best and found most difficult in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.